I'm going to be marking contour lines with my A-frame level today. I have a big swale project that I'm about to begin and the first part of having a successful swale project is to map out your contour lines. Um, so basically this is an A-frame level and basically how I constructed it is I took eight foot uh, pieces of lumber here um, and made an A and it's really really important that the distance between the ground and the top of, and your feet and, and your feet here where it connects to your cross brace is exactly the same distance. So distance between here and here is exactly the same distance between here and here. And the distance between here and here is exactly the same distance between here and here. Um, now this piece here was just a cross brace. Um, so that way, because this A-frame level is a little heavy being that it's pretty big, eight foot. Uh, using eight foot lumber is pretty big. Typically most people use six foot um, and I just put this little brace here so I can stick my shoulder underneath it to move it around. Um, now you can use a plumb bob in which case you'd attach a, a string and a plumb bob and uh, you get that level. The problem with the plumb bob is it takes, it takes time to let it get situated to where you can judge whether or not it's level or not. I went ahead and just used a, a level and the reason I like using a level is very easy um, and on this, on, the, on this level, I can look straight down and see um, whether I'm level or not. And it's very easy then to just adjust the end that I need to adjust to make sure that it, the, the contour line's level. Okay, so I've started my swale, my contour line for where I want to put my swale at the edge of the wood line here at my edge of my property. And uh, I've went ahead and marked with my A-frame level. And basically what I'll, what I'll do is I'll take one foot and put it directly behind the, the the flag that I just marked, and you don't and you want to make sure that you keep the flags on the same side of the level because if they alternate, it's going they're going your level is going to be slightly off. So at this point, once I have the one foot marked, um, I go ahead and adjust the feet until I get until I get the perfect level on my level. Now that's now that's perfectly. On contour, everything is level between these two flags. So I go ahead and mark this flag in the same spot on the back side, and then go ahead and move the A-frame level again. Put this foot, same spot, and then we go ahead and move my little bubble here until it gets perfectly level. Okay. This actually can be easier as a two-person job, but I just sort of make do. I tuck my flags in between a knee pad and I can do it on my own. Now I wanted to show a little bit more of a close-up of how the um, A-frame level works and how you mark your contour lines. Now right now, uh, I have it marked on a, a line that I've already marked. These are overlapping swales for my uh, pear trees here. Um, so I've got this foot already marked. Um, the bubble on my level is to the right um, of, of the middle. So you take, take the other foot and move that to the right. And that gets me right level on the line. And go ahead and mark, put my flag on the same side, on the same foot side as the other one. And then you just go ahead and move it. foot on the same side, and then continue on finding your line. So now that I've got everything marked with the flags, uh, last thing I like to do is go ahead and paint them with a, a turf marking paint. And the reason I like to go ahead and paint them, paint the line, is because uh, when I come in here with the excavator, uh, the flags are going to have to come up. And it'll be a lot easier to just dig the trench right where the, right where the, uh, flags are and I try to you sort of have to look ahead at the next flag coming up to get it right I usually do just a couple lines just to make sure it uh, stays in case I get a little rain and again I try to stay on the same side just just to the right of the of each flag as I go um, that way it's uh, the line is pretty consistent
And then I'll go ahead and pull the flags up. 